In this video, I am going to talk about the ROI Painter in Dragonfly 2021.3. Let's get started. Okay, so first let me load the data set. For me, the data is in the form of ORS object file extension. So I am going to use this option on your right. So this import objects from file. Okay, click on that and then navigate to the folder where your files are and then select the files you want to open it and then click open okay um, in case uh, if you have image files of other file extensions you can go to file menu and use the corresponding imports to load your data set okay um, the data I used here for demonstration is a uh, this data is a granite rock data it's downloaded from digital rocks portal you could also go to this particular website and find more information about the data set. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, next, let's see where you could go and find the ROI painter. Okay. So on your top uh, left, you will see two tabs. One is main and segment. Go to this segment tab. You will see three panels, namely ROI tools ROI painter and then segment with AI okay our job today is to learn more about this second panel which is the ROI painting painter painter okay so expand this ROI painter if it's not already been expanded under ROI painter you will see three different groups I'm gonna shrink I shrinked everything just to make it clear uh, brush size 2d view tools 3d view tools okay so the purple uh, the brush size it shows the size of the brush that you choose in terms of diameter uh, as in pixels and in meter it's based on your preferences okay and then under 2d view tools uh, you will see two options single slice and multi slice uh, basically, this single slice allows you to paint on the current slice. On the other hand, this multi-slice um, lets you paint on multiple slices um, that extend through the volume based on the size of the brush you choose. Okay. Now, let's see the tools one by one. Before that, let me go ahead and create a ROI. So go to ROI tools panel, um, click on the new button, a new region of interest uh, window will pop up. Um, enter the name as you wish. So I'm going to give here ROI uh, 1. Okay, and you can change the color here as you wish so and also choose the geometry it's the just the same geometry as my data set and then click ok ok so here is my data set now let's shrink this and let and come back here to the ROI painter as you see you have different tools to add pixels uh, to the region of interest uh, so the first you have as as I explained before you see single slice and multi slice single slice it means just for the current slice and multi slice means you can paint through multiple slices that extended throughout the volume okay uh, so um, and then it, the tools that you have here are round brush square brush point and click tool, point and outline tool, smart grid, snap tool. So here are the few tools. If you go and keep the mouse uh, next to it, so you will see a small note you can read and you can understand about each tool. Okay. Mm. First, let me choose. I'm going to paint this small fracture, uh, like a, it's a kind of big fracture that's on the granite data set. Okay. So let's see, first let me choose the round, first make sure the ROI is selected and then 
go to this round brush um, a, a few parameters uh, are enabled so first if you see here there is an option called full so for full it means like uh, you are painting the comp you can paint the complete like a full intensities okay wherever you want you can paint everywhere as you wish okay um, let me go and choose next slice okay uh, so the other option you have is adopt gaussian adopt gaussian it helps you to paint let's say i wanted to paint just this fracture okay uh, okay so it's here like that if you you can also adjust the size of the brush just by using the mouse wheel uh, plus please make sure while painting you have to hold down the left control key okay hold down the left control key and then just simply drag for painting okay this is with um, uh, adaptive gaussian and you could use local out so so this is using local out so so if you want to erase this what you have to do is hold down the shift key and you can just simply erase it okay you can increase the brush size and you can just erase it uh, if you want to completely uh, uh, remove this if you uh, want to remove it so you can go to ROI you can tools and you can you just clear it okay mm, now let's come back here and point and click tool again point and click tool it also it helps you to add pixels to the ROI but it's based on the standard deviation of the intensity standard deviation of intensity values within the selected data set okay so here is the data set so uh, let me reduce my and also it's based on the connectivity so if you choose point and click tool so it just uh, paints this place uh, plus please make sure you hold down the left control key okay and then let me use point and click outline tool okay so this gives just the outline pixel okay if you click here and if you see you can just pay, uh, paint the outline uh, pixels to the ROI okay uh, and uh, smart grid what it does is uh, it first it decomposes image into super pixel and helps you to fill uh, the uh, region boundaries it's just like this okay you can just use this tool sometimes it's very help it's a very helpful tool okay you can also change the size of the grid here okay size of the grid a uh, lot of things you could do here eight and you can paint this portion it depends on where you have to paint okay and again one more uh, next thing what we have is a snap tool snap tool it creates um, it creates a region of interest just by simply dragging on a feature let's say i want this uh, feature and i can just paint it over here plus please make sure for all the painting you have to hold down the left control key that's more important okay so and then you have a path tool uh, the purpose of path tool is just to paint a, along a path here this is of radius one so it just paints a single pixel so if you want to increase the pixel size uh, the painting is supposed to be like this okay and then you have a, a rectangle so rectangle tool it helps you to draw rectangular um, shaped region of interest and then this ellipse tool it helps you to draw either circular or oval shaped region of interest and polygon you just have to click with some points it's just like it draw region of interest it's shaped as polygon 
and this is a freehand tool it's a freehand shape whatever you uh, would like to have it just it forms freehand region okay so this is about the tools uh, that you can use it for painting uh, under 2d view uh, but the next option you have is 3d view tools so 3d view tools it works only on 3d view so what you have to do is okay let me go and uh, create another ROI okay okay let me give another color to differentiate red okay so this works only on 3d so right click on this image plane right click go to 3d okay so if you want to paint this make sure you select the ROI and then uh, okay go to main tab and then you will see this views button so just I'm gonna use this kind of view okay uh, make sure you select the ROI and then you are in 3d view okay um, what's going on what? okay so just make sure you enable this 3d okay so now you can draw whatever using this tools okay on, on 3d views if you just double click it will show only this and you can go back to this view just by double click and you can use a lot of these mm, tools to paint plus me please make sure you use the what hold down the left control key that's the only thing you need to know okay so one more thing I could say here uh, uh, okay so let's say I have a, a automated segmentation something like this okay uh, let me go here to the view okay let's say I have a segmentation something lit, which means I want to segment this fracture on my granite data set and my segmentation result is something like this uh, at some point I have a error like okay so let me shift and okay let me paint this with okay hold down the shift key and you can erase this and you could erase this the green overlap fixer okay now let's say uh, you get some automated segmentation result something like this okay so here is the um, fracture in the granite data set this red part it's supposed to be green okay but unfortunately like with some error we got let's suppose let's imagine that we got the segmentation as red okay so if you want to correct this what you could do is uh, we have one option called exclusive mode okay so make sure you choose two ROIs okay using control okay hold down just using control you can select uh, two ROIs okay so one if it is selected you will see this A and B now the ROI 1 and this ROI both are selected okay now what I have to do is go to my round brush okay now it's in red okay but I want this red supposed to be in white uh, sorry uh, green okay it has supposed to be in green pixel so what you could do is if you want to change the ROI use the, click the, sh hold down the shift button if you hold down the shift button the RO, the brush the color will change to green and then you can paint here on the red just to correct your mistake okay so what's the purpose of this exclusive mode 
is it only the labeled voxel like voxel or pixel belonging to this selected region uh, will be affected while painting okay so you cannot do anything uh, outside of this region okay it helps you to, uh, like um, it just uh, paints on top of something exclusively on like uh, on the region of interest for example if i want this to be red uh, I can do like this on the region of interest okay if uh, if I want to be on green I have to change the brush first using the uh, shift button and then you have to do like this okay and if I want to paint this as red you have to hold down the control key and you can paint this okay but if you go outside you cannot paint with this exclusive mode it just paints only on this already labeled pixels okay so exclusive mode in general exclusive mode helps you to paint only on the labeled pixels okay that's it thank you for listening